breathing new life into aging bus fleet, stripping out the old diesel engine, replacing it with a new electric motor and battery. The transformation looks rather straightforward. All we do is we remove the engine and gearbox and replace it with a new power skid that has a battery pack and the electric drive line assembled into it. So it's a very quick process uh, from a vehicle arriving on site to, as a diesel vehicle to it leaving as a new power vehicle takes three weeks. Ridebus is a company based in Bicester, about an hour's drive from London. It says it can convert about 500 buses a year at a cost of about half the price of a new electric bus. More than 34,000 diesel buses are thought to be operating across the UK. Every single diesel bus that is replaced by an electrical bus reduces CO2 by 74 tonnes a year. 40,000 litres of diesel that are avoided. Convincing the complete population to switch to electrical cars will take much longer than decarbonising bus transport. The UK government has provided some funding to help local authorities switch to zero emission buses. Similar measures to decarbonise public transport have also been rolled out in China, the European Union, the US and India. And this means business for companies just like Ridebus. This is a huge market. I mean, in terms of the electric bus uh, market globally, it's projected to increase to $30 billion by the end of this decade, and it's growing at a rapid rate. It's about 20% a year growth, and you see it's an enormous market in terms of reaching net zero in transportation for many countries. By 2035, sales of new vehicles with internal combustion engines will be banned across the UK, which means more electric vehicles on the road. As the number of electric vehicles grows, so does electricity demand. According to National Great, a significant surge in EV adoption will increase the electricity usage by up to 30% by 2040. And more investment in the energy infrastructure will be needed to ensure the success of these retrofitted buses. Li Jianhua, CGTM, Bicester, England.